Is it a necessity to go to college? I would say there are pros and there's cons for that one. The pros being you're in a working environment. It's probably the most you will ever work in all your life. You know, you're training nine to five every single day from one year to three years. And if you're going to a college which is very diverse in styles, covering all of the performing arts, for example, dance, acting, singing, then you're covering all of those areas as well. So until sometimes you major, which might not be to your second or third year, you can actually still dip into each one. Um, for a dancer, for example, I find the best dancers, break dancers, are the ones who are contemporary dancers. Break dancers who have been technically trained and have got contemporary infusion, their movement is like liquid, it's smooth, it's sensual, it's amazing, it's so diverse. Um, you can always tell someone who has got that training ability because it's a nice foundation and you're not limited, you know? In this day and age, it is great because there's so many um, there's so many performers who are just specific to that one style, and that's great, especially if you want someone for that niche, that's that person. But if you want to be working quite a lot and you want to be moving around, it's good to have a bigger range because you can do so many different stuff, you can do so many different styles, and you're booking more work and you're making more money. So I would say with regards to the timetabling and being able to use and do and infuse so many different styles, colleges are great. Another one I would say colleges are good for, and that's if you go to a good college, because some colleges aren't great at all, but if you go to a good one, they will have good agents and managements that will come for like your last year, and they will come and show to your showcases, they will see your performances, so you're, they're preparing you for the real world. So when you leave college, it means then when you go out there, you have an understanding of, okay, I have an agent, or if you didn't get on the agency, you've got something to work towards. Um, they will then help you with CVs and also for account management. When I went to college um, quite a hundred years ago, they did have agents come to it, but they didn't do anything for like account management and CVs and all that kind of, they didn't do any of that, but it was old school and it was a hundred years ago. Nowadays, one is hoping that they will infuse that as well because when you are a performer, you are your own business manager, you know, you have to take care of yourself because if you don't, you're gonna get caught out, you know, how are you gonna do your tax accounts, how are you gonna know to prepare yourself? So. Going to college does prepare you for the real world a little bit sooner than learning on your own. But in truth and fact, whatever you need to learn in life, you will learn at the time which suits you and is right for you. Teachers. Some colleges are really key on getting in some very new school and new age, and not even just new school, but just diverse teachers. That's really good and fundamental for your training. However, it depends on what you wanna do with your career. Because some colleges, no matter what you want to do, they're never going to facilitate your needs. So you're still going to have to go outside and go to those specialist teachers and those specialist classes to get you prepared and ready. Um, I would say the negatives are you get comfortable. You're in an environment where you're used to the people. You don't have that competitive vibe to you. I'm not a competition person. I don't believe in that. I believe what's for you is for you. However, I do believe you can get very comfortable and it become like Groundhog Day and you stop pushing yourself. You can be less motivated. And in this day and age and in this industry, you need motivation. I would also say another negativity is the cost. Some of these colleges are exceedingly expensive. And I, when I went to college, there was people who got loans out, grants out, people was you know, remortgaging their houses. And the sad thing about it is some of, their, some of the people, the students, they're never gonna work. Not everybody works. Like there's a number of people who train as kids and that's all great because you know every child is beautiful. And then there's people who go to college and then there's people who actually make money from it. And each time you go to each stage, it kind of narrows down. So you have to really think carefully before you're gonna write remortgage your house and stuff like that because nothing is guaranteed. And at the end of the day, what I do know is when it comes to your kids, people do anything. When it comes to kids, people are very funny, very particular. They would do whatever they need to do to make sure their kid is happy. And also it's, a, it's about assisting them and helping them on their journey. So they can be very costly. So you might want to consider, do you want to do three years or do you want to do a one year course? And it may be good do a self-training 
um, schedule and set up because times have changed. Um, you can get lost in a system. You can just be someone that the teachers don't really see anything in and they have their favourites. More, more than likely, a lot of the favourites aren't necessarily ones who are going to work. So if you're someone who needs that attention, which in this industry you can't be because you have to be able to make it on your own, but if you are, then maybe that's not for you because you can just get lost in a system and just start settling and you need to make sure that you keep your energy up because in the real world, you it's only you, yourself and I. Um, I would say not going to college, the pros are, there's so many resources out there. We have this online system, you know, YouTube, there's so many different styles. There's a billion new styles coming out constantly. And if you want to be niche in one particular area, you definitely need to do your solo training. And even if you do go to college, you still need to go to classes outside of it because the environment is completely different. You would ask anyone from being in your classes from Monday to Friday to go to an even class or even just throw yourself and go to an audition. The energy is completely different. It's like you now realize who's hungry, the games are on. Um, you can do a lot more with your money. You can actually do as many classes as you do in college privately and still be able to work because sometimes the colleges will allow you to work or not allow you to work as much. It depends on what year you are and what you're going through and so forth. So doing your own timetable, please include some ballet and contemporary. It might not be for you, but it's a really good foundation. And then do your selective classes and throw yourself out there. Throw yourself in an acting class. Acting classes really help you because nowadays so many things are online. There's so many commercials where they would like a performer to actually act as well. Obviously, if, you're, if you are an actor, great. But if you are an actor, throw yourself into a dance class. So many times where I work with so many actors who they don't really do the dance side and that's when they completely freeze. You kind of want to have a little bit of a taster in each area. You want to have a bit of an ability in each area. You know, some people are just amazing at all styles. That's very rare and that's brilliant for them. But if something makes you feel uncomfortable, I would say push yourself out of your comfort zone and go and do that class separately. So if you're a singer, go and do some movement. If you're an actor, go do some dancing. If you're a dancer, go to an acting class. You know, make sure that you're not vulnerable in any area because then when you do leave college or even if you do leave these classes to start casting, it's going to show.